What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Reborn, episode number 57. In the last episode, we made our way through this little woods thing that we have going on, or yeah, this little woods right here. Uh, made it up to where we were fighting Fern and got our butts absolutely kicked. If you want to go back and check out the salt, hit the worst that it did last week. Click the icon up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, hopefully we're going to defeat Fern and move on. If you're excited for another Pokemon Reborn, go ahead and show it and hit the like button down below. And subscribe to become a member of the Domination. Especially if you're watching these videos frequently but you're not subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe. Um, so we did some training. Did some off-screen training. Got everyone to 55. Because I just don't care. I'm not dealing with Fern. Now if we lose right now. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm not I'm not doing your voice. I don't even care. I honestly don't even care. I I don't care. Typically when we have a when I have to come back to beat somebody, I'll do their voice part again. I don't even care. Okay? Fern ruined my week last week. Absolutely ruined my week. Now, I'm going to start off with the same strategy that I tried last time. Okay. Now, didn't you heal last time? Why would I not just Shadow Ball? Okay, now I'm gonna predict. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, Spirit Shackle, huh? Okay. Interesting. So then. This Decidueye is why I lost last time. I'm gonna hone class once. Okay, this should be good for us. But I'm gonna toxic spikes. Because I want to make sure that things are poisoned once they come in. I like this so far. Hold the phone. I really like this so far. Come on. Come on. I just know. Okay, that didn't do much. Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh crap! Yeah, I didn't realize. I forgot that I had light screen up. Please don't. No, no, no. Okay. If that would have killed me, I would have. I would have cried. I think I honestly would have just started crying. He's about to send in his Decidueye. Which means he's probably going to go for... If I predict this and get it right, I can win. But if I don't predict it right, then he's going to beat me. I gotta predict the- I gotta predict it. Okay. I've gotta go for it. That's fine. That won't do any- that, Come on! Kill him! Kill him in one shot! Yes! Woo! Woo! Okay. Let's go. Ah. Uh, we should be able to win now. That was very scary. He almost took me out. 
Okay, hold on. A ride on. Jeez. All right. We're going to go into the other. Ooh, let's go to Blast Burn, actually. I was going to go to Mirror B, but I think Blast Burn can, Blast Burn can do the thing here. I definitely think Blast Burn can do the thing here. Yes! I, this is the first time in this game that I've ever just said, screw it, I'm training up. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Fern. I hate Fern. Hit three times, please. Why? Blast Burn. Why can you never hit more than twice? It's so frustrating. Yes! I've never had to train up that, like, that overleveled in order to beat somebody. <gasps> Try that big cheat. You know what, Fern? Screw you! <laughs> I might make this series not for the kids. I'm, I'm tired of this! <gasps> Whatever. Not like it matters. I think we all know who the real top dog is anyway. Anyway, yo. The climb, the, the guards, the, the dub guards into a gate city are like forever asleep or something. So I'm gonna try to track down that normal gym leader. Dub dub kid, I guess he ran away from his place in Lapis. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, now, I think I need to use this. I might as well. It's not hurting me to use it, so let's, uh. Ooh, I vaguely. What I do remember of this area is I remember it happening in Shofu's playthrough. Oh, you know what I remember? Okay, hold on. I remember some stuff here. Now, I'm going to lead. We'll let Blastburn lead, even though Blastburn's freaking water shuriken never hits more than twice. I guess I'm going to go through here. North Adventure in Woods. Adventurin. Can I just say Adventurin? Because I'm pretty sure it's just Adventurin. Now I know these Tauros play some type of role. Oh, this guy's just a trainer? Alright, I think I'm gonna go to the North Adventure and I don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. Why is this guy level 20? That doesn't make any sense. Luxray, get me out. In the training session that happened uh, in order to get everybody to level 55, I encountered... Oh god, and he has a level 60? I encountered three shinies. I encountered a... Sh oh man. I encountered a shiny... How am I supposed to kill this guy? Suppose I could have gone for a rock smash here. But... I guess I'll just do this. Oh, well, Naboris goes down. Anyway, I encountered a shiny mud bray. I encountered a shiny cutie fly and a shiny mill tank. The mill tank was the only one that I failed and couldn't catch. Oh, this isn't a uh, rom hack. You're not. I was definitely thinking that you were. Uh... Oh, thank God. Anyway, I was definitely thinking he was dark type. Alright, I think the play for me would be to go to the... Ooh, double team. <sighs> double team could come in really handy, but... I don't think I... Well, water shuriken kind of sucks, but... I'll pass. Water Shuriken. Oh, I. Okay, I honestly had decided to.
Go. I, I honestly had changed my mind and I was going to learn it. Oh, this is a different entrance to the same place? Okay, because I can't go anywhere over there. Because I have to do something with the Tauros. The Tauros and the Bufalant. Hello, Oranguru. Thank you for dropping by. Anyway, yeah, I caught two shinies in the training session. That took me, like... It took me a very long time to do the training. Uh, a whole lot longer than I wanted it to. to. If I'm being perfectly honest. And now I think I have to figure out this little Tauros puzzle. It looks like everything connects everywhere though. I don't want to I don't want to chat with that mill tank just yet. See if I can figure out where I'm going for. It. Hmm. I'm so happy that we beat Fern first try. Right? What if I jump across the ledge here? Save first. Four ledges to jump across? I mean, I guess might as well. Big ledge to jump down there. Oh, okay. Did not think you would fight me. This music... I don't know. What do we think about this battle music? Did I ask this last time? I'm pretty sure I asked this last time. That's a lot of damage. Hey, you only hit two times also! I know that struggle. My Pokemon sucks too. Ooh, look at that prediction. I'm gonna predict it one more time. Go ahead, heal up all you want. Ooh, liquidation, stop! Okay, good. I'm about to say, liquidation should not be anywhere near a two hit KO. But this should almost take you out. That's what I was hoping for. Paralyzed and confused. No way you're going to hit me. And he uses pin missile. What is my life? Why can't I just play a game and enjoy it? Huh? Huh? Don't use sucker punch, you jerk. Am I going to get better at Pokemon by playing this game? I desperately need to get better at playing Pokemon. No tank. Somebody heal me! Our studies show that Bufalon tend to be the most standoffish of the Pokemon around here. They have a tendency to charge about uncaringly. In fact, when they do so, they often seem to neglect to steer and end up crashing in or displacing objects. The Centers for Wildlife Research and the Preservation of Pokemon Species in Nature. We keep close watch on the natural activities of the Pokemon in this area. I don't want to miss anything. Center's a local extension of a breeding project. Using samples raised by the breeding center on Azurin Island, we work day and night to restore the wild Pokemon to reborn. Although we haven't heard from Azurin Center in a while, I do hope so nothing's happened. Given the constant conflict uh, among the wild Pokemon, we've observed that Pokemon tend to be thankful for those who help them overcome their opponent. For instance, the Tauros here will even be so kind as to allow humans who help them to ride on them. Tauros will sometimes let trainers ride them. It's quite an experience. They move swiftly and will even jump up ledges effortlessly. However, they are still finicky creatures. Tauros greatly dislike going through very tall grass with a human riding them. I get what you're telling me. Many of the Pokemon around here are constant competition. It's quite interesting. Tauros and Buffalo come with butt heads literally for the dominance over the mill tank and land. Even in the forest, many bug types will engage each other for control of resources. Ultimately, we seek to restore equilibrium to the region, but perhaps we should have introduced these species to the area together. Can we talk about how much better I'm reading today? Have I finally learned how to read? Have I finally learned how to read? It's a breakthrough! It's a miracle! A Christmas miracle! Hey, 
nectar the Pokemon in the forest are drawn to the scent of honey produced by the combi in the woods. So popular is this nectar that Pokemon with a particular face for it, Heracross and Pinsir, often fight each other for it. Miltank produces milk very slowly, but giving proper diet and conditioning process can speed up exponentially. Our Miltank prefer Oran berries, blah blah blah, consistently the blah 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 blah. Yay. We've attempted to capture some of the bug types in the forest to study them further, but it seems when they're engaged in combat with each other that it's impossible to catch. Their focus is home to the point that they can easily defect the ball, unfortunate. Dead God, I dropped my glasses while doing research in the woods. It's a miracle I made it out of a stupid forest maze, but what do I do? We keep track of the milk tank here for breeding purposes. After all, we don't want the population to spiral. We're just trying to keep it in balance for now. Can we talk about how I can read now? Through the binoculars, a small city can be seen off the cliffs above. There's no activity whatsoever. The streets are entirely empty. Do not get in my way. A small cabin in the woods can be seen. A Pikachu is sitting on top of it. Waterfall can be seen pouring in the city. An elegant cabin rests above it. Freeborn's environment has been desecrated, so there's no longer many places to grow berries. The forests around here are a bit of an exception. Find a spot to grow a berry to grow berries to feed blah, 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 blah. on another note there are also a variety This is God humbling me. On another note, there are also a variety of sundries that have been lost in this area. We never mind passerbyers cleaning up, so if you find something, help yourself. To that tune you might find this to be of some use. Okay. Ooh, I could have used that against Fern. Did you know there's a certain Pokemon that evolves not only when you want it not to evolve? Ain't that crazy? This is the kind of stuff I live for. Now we need to figure out why it does that here and not in other regions. What does that mean? The Azurin Observ Observation and Breeding Facility has been beyond tardy in their shipments of Pokemon for reintroduction. We are scheduled to reestablish the Dunsparce population last month, but there's been no word from them. It is a poor substitute, but, trainer, should you encounter any Dunsparce, please consider donating them to us. I will offer you a young Pokemon in return. We had planned to reintroduce them to the wild before, but we were forced to cancel that operation. I don't have a Dunsparce, because why would I have a Dunsparce unless it was shiny? If I run into a Dunsparce, I will catch it just for you, my guy. Now, all of these people were trying to tell me that I just need to get on a Tauros and do something something. I need to do something or other. Okay. Angry Tauros attacked. Why... Oh, I should attack the other thing and not the Tauros. Gotcha. Alright, I have to attack the Bufalon. I gotta get the Bufalon out of here. I cannot see my screen. This cable could get out of my way. Hold on. There we go. Now I can see the screen. Actually, in Route 1... Wow. Good thing I, uh... Good thing I didn't just heal. Anyway, in Route 1 over by where Fern was, I was training up against Buffalo and Tauros. Oh, I need to heal. Oh! Mistakes were made between us two! <laughs> alright, alright, I'm ready now. So, I, I get it now. When there's a log in the way, I have to get, I have to take on Tauros, so Bufalot will charge. But when I need to get back, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. Because that's what my brain tells me to do. See, like, in that case, I would defeat the Tauros, and then the Buffalon will charge, letting me go up. But now we're fighting more trainers. Just call me a name? Don't you call me a hoe? 
You don't even know me. Why why is this shiner why why does he look shiny? Why does this hiker look shiny? Those are the words that I tried to say. Oh you You're trying to SD in my face? You're trying to SD in my face? Uh-uh. Goodbye. He said hoo-ha! I... I'm pretty sure I need to go back where I came from. See, like here, challenging the Buffalon would be stupid, but... I guess let's, uh, let's go ahead and challenge this person. Giddy up! I wonder if I'm gonna regret training up as much as I did. I bet I will. Um... This grass stuff that we have going on is really hurting my Vonoboros. Like, to the point, oh, he's gonna flinch. I just know I'm gonna flinch. But it's not even gonna do half. Or it'll almost kill him. Flinched. I called that. I straight up called that one. Two flinches. Okay, I didn't think that was going to kill him. That would have... I would have gotten a little upset at that. She said, whoa there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I... I can't tell if that's a door. Or if that's like a pathway to the next area. Why did I come down here? Oh! Oh! Just to the south is the Grand Stairway and the Obsidian Ward, but lucky them gates don't open. Why is it lucky? No one catching me sleeping in here. There's just a giant... What? So you're trying to tell me that right here I can go back and get more lemonades and you're not going to let me through? You know what, angry buffalant? I want you to shut up. I, I'm not... Blowing stuff all over my desk. If you use head smash, that's that, that's actually what I meant to say. I meant to say head charge. No. Thank you. Ah, I can't catch a break, man. I just can't catch a break. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to live. I'm trying to progress. I'm just trying to explore everything. Hold the A key to dismount. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tauros. Let's go, Tauros. Let's go, Tauros. I don't need that log out of the way. I do need that log out of the way. Is there nobody that I have that can better take out these Tauros? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I don't want every- I don't want all of the experience going to Blast Burn. Alright, so I, I get this. I get this. We're just gonna have to go through, and it'll probably be in the next episode. We're gonna go through and get this all... Did I accidentally hit the speed up button? Oops, let me go ahead and turn the speed up button off real quick. Sound like the Buffalant. I was about to say, it sounded like the Buffalant didn't do anything. You ask me. Wait. Wait. 
Where? Why? Why did it? Amethyst. Why? I didn't do anything to you. Why? Why you? Why you make it happen like this? Why? I was already on a Tauros. I had to get off the Tauros. Uh, no. That means this isn't gonna do enough. Help me. I can't one shot the I can't even two shot these things. Ugh. Only reason that bugs me is because like I don't know how entertaining that is to watch. Since I, I have to I'm always like running back to heal and it's taking forever and this and that and this and that and this and that. Um I guess I'm gonna heal since I'm here. Alright, and then we'll continue on just a little bit. Just a little bit. Actually, no, we won't. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here. It it makes sense. It's as much as I want there to be like serious progress in every episode, we did defeat Fern today. And we did make it to our next area where we're going to be uh, progressing with Tauros and Buffalant, kind of playing those two off of each other um, to get where we need to go. If I could take just one step to the right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and save the game right here. If you did wind up enjoying today's episode of Reborn where we got our, our revenge on Fern, make sure to hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination in the next episode, we'll be continuing on to hopefully make actual progress. So we'll see you for that next episode. Until then, spread some positivity and be the light. Have a blessed day.